We're going to do some examples for subspaces of Rn. Our first example is we are given this um, space. And this is a subset of Rn. Um, Declare the R3, that is all points x, y, z, such that x plus y plus z equals 1. Um, so subspace has to satisfy um, a few conditions. One of them is that it contains the zero vector. Another that is that it's closed under addition and closed under scalar, scalar multiplication. So we define the following vectors v1, x1, uh, y1, z1. And v2 has x2, y2, z2. Um, and we define v1 and v2 to be in w. That means that x1 plus x2, or sorry, x plus x1, x1 plus y1 plus z1 equals 1, because that is the condition to be inside w. So we know that's true. We also know that since v2 is inside w, that x2 plus y2 plus z2 equals 1. Because that is the condition to be inside W. So now, if we um, look at V1 plus V2, which is X1 plus X2, Y1 plus Y2, and Z1 plus Z2, um, we can see what Um, these components add up to the and we can do that just by looking at this if we add these two together we get that we get x1 plus x2 y1 plus y2 z1 plus z2 and we see that it equals 1 plus 1 which is 2 since the components add up to 2, um, V1 plus V2 is not in W. So, since W isn't closed under addition, it isn't a subspace of R3. Um, so, easy way to do this would have been just to check if the zero vector is inside this subspace or this subset, and we'll easily see that it isn't because zero plus zero plus zero isn't equal to one. But I showed you this um, other method to give you an idea of how to do some other problems. So, our second problem, we have another subset of R three. Uh, so this time. We have all points x, y, z, where x, um, y is between x and z. And on this one, I forgot to close the bracket. Okay, so we're asked to see if this is a subspace of R3. So, this time, we're going to check the scalar multiplication um, condition. So if we define v1 to be x1, y1, z1, um, and we define v1 to be in w, that means y1 is between x1 and z1. We can split this up into two separate statements. We have y1 is less than z1, and x1 is less than y1. So now if we look at a scalar multiple of v1, um, negative v1, which is negative x1, negative y1, negative z1, 
um, we check if that condition also, we check if it's also in W. So the way we can do this is if you multiply both sides of this by negative 1, but um, when you have an inequality and you multiply both sides by negative, you have to flip the sign. So same here. And um, combining these statements gives us So now, um, um, although um, V1 satisfied the condition where the Y component was greater than the X component and less than the Z component, negative, the negative um, of that vector doesn't satisfy the condition because its Y component is um, bigger than its z component and smaller than its x component. So since, since w isn't closed under scalar multiplication, it isn't a subspace of R3.